Welcome to our final message for the year and what a fantastic year it's been. There's so much to be thankful for, which of course was our theme for the year and in light of the last few years that we've had, thankfulness was exactly what we needed to focus in on in 2022. You know, our experience of life, our experiences of the challenges of COVID, that, that experience in many ways pivots around how we choose to interpret them, what perspective we choose to take. And the Bible says that the best way is the path of gratitude. God reminds us to be thankful to Him, not because He needs it, but because we need it. It's good for our soul. Every day, we enjoy so many good gifts from God. His fingerprints are everywhere if we just choose to look for them. Because it's true, isn't it? When, when we really think about it in life, we actually receive a great deal more than we give. We receive more than we give from our families and, and from friends and teachers. And, and when we realize this with thankfulness, suddenly, suddenly life becomes really rich. You know, a, a, a spoonful of gratitude fights against those inner enemies of, of grumbling and presumption, entitlement, anxiety. It, it's such a great medicine to those things. And, and it has, thankfulness has life transforming power. It fills our heart with joy as we appreciate how much we need God, but also how much we need each other in a community like ours. This Christmas, we give thanks to God for his great gift of Jesus, the savior of the world. And God gives because God loves. And the right response to this gift is gratitude. And as we do, as we give thanks, it leads us to know the love of the one who gave. It helps us to know and enjoy the heart of God who gives. And so this Christmas, I pray that you go back again and again to this great gift of God, receive it afresh, unwrap it again with thankfulness and see his grace even more deeply. We look forward to seeing you all at Celebrate. Merry Christmas and have a wonderful, safe holiday.